five things men say when they are not that interested. In this video, you will discover for sure phrases that will get you out of questioning and doubting yourself and driving yourself crazy and giving the wrong men the benefit of the doubt so you can actually invest your energy, your valuable time, and of course, your intention into men who truly deserve it. So if you're ready to finally know when he's deeply in love with you by his responses, comment, I am ready below. I'm, of course, Antje Boyd, founder and creator of the Magnetize Your Man Method. And look, this is the channel where we magnetize your man so that the man you want, desires, and hello, pursues you forever. Now, of course, if you like anything about this video, my background, what I wear, and of course, the tech content, then please like it, give it a thumbs up, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well by clicking, hitting that bell below for more juicy videos coming your way. And hey, sharing is caring, so share it with a girlfriend or two that you feel like, gosh, we really need to talk about this girlfriend. And of course, at the end, we'll have a juicy bonus as well that you will not expect. Let's go ahead and dive right into the five things that men say when they're not that into you. Number five, it's not me, it's you. Okay, ladies, like, really, I'm just almost like, oh, yeah, like yawning, right? Because like, it's like, of course, it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's not me, it's you. Um, and all the things, right? So, of course, he says that, because like, he really, um, it's, it's, sorry, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> I got that wrong. It's not you, it's me, right? So I'm taking all the responsibility and, you know, like, you didn't do anything wrong. There is nothing you can do, which that in a way is true. Like, there's nothing you can do. He already decided that he's just that not that into you. So think about it, right? If he says, it's not you, it's me, okay, then like, of course, like what actually end, ends up happening is like, there's nothing you can do about, right? Because if it was you, then you could actually change it, you can shift it, you could actually ask him, so how do you want me to respond instead? Or how can we turn that ship around? Or what can I do? But if he says, it's not you, it's me, it's up to him, right? Like this, you have no power, there's no accountability, there's responsibility, but it's false responsibility. Because what he's really not willing to say, and I see that sometimes in the comment section, when you ask like, why are men not straightforward? Well, because they don't want to hurt your feelings. I know, it's so annoying, right? As if they don't hurt your feelings anyways. Or oh, number two, they actually want to avoid confrontation because they don't want to be the bad guy, right? So they don't have to feel that discomfort inside of their system. They just kind of like, you know, hope, hopefully it fizzles out. So I know it's really annoying, but you know, that's the name of the game. Unfortunately, like, of course, I'd love to hear from you where you're from, where you're watching from, everyone. Number four, you deserve better. Oh, right. It's like you deserve better. I, I can see you already rolling your eyes. And I know this is all like BS phrases. I'm not saying that those are like validated phrases. That's why I want you to see those are emotionally unavailable men. Those are men who are invested in other women. Those are men who are players. Like there's different kinds of reasons why they give you those kind of BS phrases and not tell you the truth the way you actually deserve it, right? Because you deserve the truth. Okay, so I get that. Yeah, I've seen this in the comment section all the time and I totally agree with you. So you deserve better. That's like almost like another one of those, right? It's not it's not me, it's it, it's not you, it's not you, it's me. Um, and so that's like also, that, that's like really saying, I've, I'm so wonderful, right? Because usually what it proceeds is like, you're so wonderful, you're such a catch, you know? You're really, you know, you know, you're so intellectually stimulating and all the things. You're such a magnificent woman. You're going to make such a great wife. You deserve better, right? 
And so essentially the man is saying, well, I'm not willing to be this better, right? You're not inspiring me enough to be that someone better. Now, it could be for many different reasons, but that's what he's basically saying. And, you know, you can really prove that because when wedding day comes around, what's one of the famous phrases that grooms say? You make me want to be a better man. So apparently, in this particular case, you don't make him want to be a better man. Like he's not that into you. He's not that inspired, and, and, you know, interested in you for whatever reason. You know, so don't take this personal. Again, it could be many different reasons. But the bi biggest thing is like, like, don't think, you know, oh my gosh, you know, there's still hope and he's so kind to me and all the things. No, it's just like, it's a cop out. Number three, I will call it ghost town. And that is, he's not responding. Girlfriend, it's not like that he's too busy to respond, that his phone dropped into the toilet, you know, that he's in a country where he has no reception, um, whatever the case may be. So we may come up with all of those different excuses. And literally, so have I. You know, when I was single my entire life and I was dating one emotionally unavailable man after the other, I was dealing with this all the time. I had great conversations, I had great connections, they were, they were stimulating on all levels, and then it was just like ghost town. There's like nothing, no response for days, dropping off the earth, and there was also no acknowledgement, right? There was no like, you know, like I'm, you're not gonna hear from me for a couple of days or this or that. Um, same is true, of course, for online dating as well, right? So. He tells you everything by telling you nothing, if that makes sense. So this is where you have to stop running on that anxious attachment style pattern and trying to predict now and to get attached to something that's just like not realistic, right? It's just not happening. He's just not interested in you. He doesn't care. He doesn't respect you enough to be in communication with you, to let you know what's going on. Like that's actually borderline rude, right? Like if he doesn't even communicate with you, so that should give you enough of an indication, time to, um, you know, to jump ship, so to say. And I did that in January of 2013, right? Like five months before I met my husband, I broke up with my old self. You know, I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm over it. Like, I don't care what the reason is, why somebody drops off the earth and so on. Like, I'm my man knows and my man acts accordingly, right? So you actually want to to start like stepping into that you deserve so much more of course again if you like this content please give it a like below the video and of course share it with your girlfriends as well now one that's one of my biggest pet peeves is i'm crazy busy so another particular man that you can date is the workaholic and the workaholic in and of itself is again also really like an emotionally unavailable man. Now, he makes himself extremely valuable to his work, right? Like if you say, I'm crazy busy, I have this crazy project going on, you know, I have to fly overseas again. And you know what? In the beginning, it may be just really interesting and fascinating. And those men usually have a lot of charisma. They have a lot of drive. You can experience a massive amount of tension and polarity with them, right? Because they're like really masculine. They get the job done. Let's go. But unfortunately, right, they're investing that into their work, right? They're crazy busy. They're always home super late, right? They come home at 9, 10 p.m., like really crazy busy, you know, like, let's see. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not sure yet uh, when we can meet this weekend or next weekend. And I was dating some of those guys too, you know, just really like top uh, level executives at Google or like, you know, all those different places. And, um, but again, it gets old really fast, right? Because it's like, what's, what's in it for me? You know what I mean? Like, it's like, he's too busy. And what I really want to say, right? When he says I'm crazy busy, it's like, he's running away from you. Like you don't give him what he desires to have, right? You, he just doesn't have the capacity to make you a priority. So stop running on that anxious attachment style that hopes you can turn the man around, right? That you can catch a, a really crazy, busy workaholic. Maybe your dad was crazy busy. He was a workaholic. He was gone all the time. And your inner little girl has still like this hope, 
that I can turn daddy around. If I turn myself enough into a pretzel, then daddy is going to change, right? Then daddy's finally giving me the attention. And so that's, again, the other thing, right, where you have to go for that ego death and say, you know what, over it and on with it, right? Like, I'm just so done. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm only interested in men who are like, yeah, they can be busy. They can be definitely committed to their purpose, to their calling, to their mission. Absolutely. However, they have a healthy balance with their other masculine archetypes so that they're also able to be present with me, invested in me, right? And when we create a family, right? Like he's there as well, raising the kids, all the things. Okay. So this is about clarity. And number one is I'm not ready for a relationship yet. Look, I have experienced that many times when I was single. And this is where we have to be really careful because if we're sort of the caretakers and sort of the rescuers, right? Like I was constantly rescuing mostly my mom when I was a little girl, right? Like, uh, you know, like she, she was not feeling well. And then I was trying to help her save the situation. And why was that? Well, because I actually authentically felt helpless and powerless in those moments. But then I found out, wait a minute, if I help that other person feel better, then somehow I feel better too, right? And then the same is true as when you attract those guys into your life who say, I'm not ready for a relationship yet because you feel like, you know, they're like, you know, because I, I lost my wife two or three years ago, right? Um, because, you know, I haven't moved out of the home yet where my ex-wife and me, we lived in, right? Or I'm not ready for a relationship yet because my son, you know, we were waiting for him to go off to college, right? Or, you know, I need to wash my hamster's hair. And, you know, there's so many different reasons why he's not ready for a relationship yet. But what it really means is, you know, what happens with the anxious attachment style, they're just like, say, oh, he's not ready for a relationship. Oh, that, no worries, I'll wait. But unfortunately, you don't know how long. And then what the anxious attachment style does is actually predict sort of in her mind, like, you know, maybe two months, three months, right? And then, but, but she still needs the attention. She still needs the investment from him. So guess what? At some point, like she'll notice that and she'll get sad and she'll get disappointed and, and uh, feels, feels abandoned and feels rejected. You know, and the truth is, it's really interesting, right? Like, in the meanwhile, he's on Tinder, adding another couple of photos to his profile. And you wonder, why is why is it green? Like, why why is he on? Like, he's not ready for a relationship yet. Like, no, what, the, what it really means, unfortunately, and I have to really say that, is that he's not ready for a relationship with you. You know, and this happened to me too. You know, men said, like, I'm not ready for a relationship yet. And the next moment... They meet the woman that they propose to. And so it's it's the same thing again, right? And they may actually think that they're not ready for a relationship yet. But I'm telling you, I've seen men who were not ready for a relationship and they committed in two seconds because that was the wife, that was the mom of his kids, right? And it really hurts when you see that and you're like, wow, I I feel stupid because I gave, I believed that, you know? And now you see, here comes... He comes to, you know, the new girlfriend and out of the sudden he is ready for a relationship. And you can let me know in the comment section because I know to some of you this has happened. And then that causes even more shame. So if he's not ready for a relationship yet, this is it. Let's get out of here, right? So before I share my final bonus secret, comment below. Which of these signs has a man shown you, if any? Let's have a conversation. And then lastly, this goes a little bit along with what I just talked about is there's this constant pattern of delay, right? So let's delay, you know, I'm like really busy this week, so this could be because he's busy, um, you know, or just uh, something shifted last minute, unexpected shift of schedule, you know? So there's many different reasons why this can occur, but it's this constant delay, right? Like, oh, actually, you know, uh, my, 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 I don't know, my daughter just broke her arm, you know? And like, again, Things can, of course, happen. Of course, life happens, right? Or, you know, it's, it, it's raining. My car broke down. Um, I have to come home late from work, right? So, But there's this constant delay. And so, you know, that's something to pay attention to, right? Like if you see this, there's a consistency to this delay. Girlfriend, you know, like this is the thing. 
for the anxious attachment style, it's it's literally like, oh, just one more time. I just have to wait one more time. I just have to deserve it one more time. I just have to release it one more time. And then he's going to be available, right? It's like, no, 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 no. If he's like constantly delaying for one reason or another, he's just not that into you. You know, it just it's just point blank. That's what it is. Now, if you are stuck in this trap and you actually find yourself like giving men the benefit of the doubt the way I just described it, I recommend taking my free Magnetize Your Man quiz. And this is, of course, mymquiz.com. And you're going to get some personalized strategies and also free gifts as well. So it's mymquiz.com. And if you haven't done so already, when a man deeply loves you, he'll start saying these five things. So that's kind of the opposite of this video. Lots of love to you, ladies. And I will talk to you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.